Yes, this will be my continuation and the final on Passport Bros. I know that some uh, YouTubers look like every day or every other day they're making a video about Passport Bros. Or they're making a video about two or three infamous YouTubers who are infamous that have been, um, I don't know, they pages had been taken or deleted. Hopefully they'll come back. Well, I won't name who I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and wrap up Passport Bros and some questions. I don't know if you're going to help be able to help me answer these questions. Are Passport Bros exploiting, exploiting, using, taking advantage of these women? Or are they the ones being exploited and they don't even know it you know the saying the hunter becomes the hunted <laughs> yes you guys are black men treated different than the other groups of men i saw someone i don't know if it was the wrap-up crew one of the guys was saying and he was just uh, and the young lady in the, the first video i didn't mention her name is si simone raquel that had the little fluff fluff the feathers and was saying that um the filipino women can't speak english which we, we know that that's not true filipino people um speak english most of the ones that i've i've run around, run across especially the ones that work let's be very good english all the call center jobs are going to the Philippines, even India, and they have a training program for them. And I was reading where one man was saying how he was mistreated and abused. He's a Filipino man, and he was talking about the different name calling attacks that the uh, Western or the American callers would call him. And even his manager, who was a white woman, how she had attacked him verbally and said some mean, hurtful things also are the women really feminine i could i couldn't get uh, that word together feminine fit and friendly are they really feminine fit and friendly one thing i noticed that someone had mentioned i don't see these guys or i'm, I'm gonna just keep it real the black dudes i don't see them going to places like in, in Africa, I was watching, uh, again, I told y'all, he's my favorite YouTuber, Mr. O'Shea Du Jackson, and he's got a little dating show station in Africa. I don't know where, exactly where, uh, but I don't see these guys, at least the black guys talking about they went to Ghana, Nigeria, Kenya, Ethiopia, the Congo to get wives. Now, I've been looking at one guy, he's got a channel. He's Russian, and I don't know what this is, but y'all know, Tatar, y'all probably watched this young couple video, and she's from, I don't know, she's from Zanzibar or the Congo. She's very dark, beautiful girl, very dark complected, and she's a Muslim. So he married her and brought her back home. There's like two or three Asian men, Chinese men, one's a Japanese man. They have African women. They brought them back home to China. One uh, brought his wife back to Japan. And then the one of the women, her sister left, I forgot what part of Africa, and came down to China, to wherever rural China, and married one of the next door neighbor's son. Okay. So I'm seeing every other group of men getting African women, but... I don't see African black American men going getting African women. I, I, I don't know. Maybe y'all, maybe y'all know. Y'all can share. <laughs> you guys, you know, y'all can shed some light on it. Another guy, and he's Filipino, and I have posted. I keep forgetting you guys. I have my own channel, but hey, I'm all over the place, and I think his name is Mr. Sam Lamb. And uh, he's got a young Filipino woman that he's with. He's a Filipino guy. I can't tell his age. He looks like he's in his 40s or early 50s. So he had put out a question, which is kind of similar to the with the passport bros. Why are women not, or why aren't women, uh, Western women, going after Filipino or Asian men? Why? Why is it? It's just white men going after Filipino or coming to Philippines to get girls, get women, wives or whatnot. 
and uh looked like nobody wanted to touch i want to do this it's hot nobody wanted to touch it to 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 say i will say it dawned on me when i saw that i remember a couple years maybe about 15 years ago i took a sociology class our professor was a black female her husband was a pastor and i think she was going back to school or something to be an ordained minister. So we were on the topic uh, talking about the different types of marriages and they talked about black marriages, uh, Asian marriages, of uh, the white couple uh, relationships. And in, in, in there, she had made the comment after we was finished with the, se- the section that from what it looked like to her, that Asian men was a good, um, I guess a a good match or a good dude for a woman who who was looking for a man, was looking for a man because he's a higher earner, he has a higher education, he makes more uh, money than a Western American white man, Uh, the divorce marriage rate is very low, Um, no divorces in the Asian community. I don't know, did she? say if it was just Chinese or were we just talking about Vietnamese? I don't remember. But I will tell y'all. It's hot. <laughs> them girls, them little young girls that was in my class and it was it was half and half of some white girls and some blacks and a few Hispanic girls. They were like, and next teacher? Next? Ain't nobody was wanted to touch it. Nobody wanted to talk about it. Nobody wanted to say that they were open or interested in um, dating or hooking up or they fantasized getting with a, 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 a Asian or Vietnamese man. Same thing, I, I share with y'all, I have worked everywhere possible except in a strip club. <laughs> uh, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. And I can tell you, especially typing pools, you know what we do as women, whether you're black, white, Chinese, whatever. We talk about men. We talk about men. We talk about relationships. We talk about mm, 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 getting jiggy. I should say they did. And I never, ever can remember hearing any of the women, especially the the white women, talking about or, or coming on to or making a pass or pinching or touching or tapping a dude's booty. If they did any of those things, it was to a black guy or or mentioning uh, that, uh, you know, they thought or wondered or they thought this person was sexy or they thought this person was hot. I never, ever can remember. And, and when I worked at the Chase Bank downtown, there was a lot of Filipino men worked. They were older guys, though, I think. I don't really think they were young. I never heard or any of the women say anything about them or mention anything about them or guess or wondered or fantasized or what they thought. Uh, So I don't know, but I do see nowadays, I'm seeing when I'm looking at people's YouTube, I am seeing a young, uh, a few young black women with Asian men, few uh, white girls with Asian guys. I even saw two young Asian guys this week and the last weekend, uh, one had a young Hispanic girl with him. And then another guy was with a Hispanic girl. They were all look like about the same age that the guys were little young, petite, thin guys, not tall, kind of short, like five, 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 six. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't know what to, to say. I, I just don't think again, women are on the prowl like that. Uh, being passport broads or chicks. And if they are, they're looking at going to uh, the islands or or maybe Mexico or Italy or France because, you know, the language that they speak in Italy and France is the romance language, is the language of love, it's sexy. And those dudes are normally like, six feet tall or, or five eight to six feet tall or something i don't know you know hey it is what it is you know if it's meant for you you're gonna get it because if, if if it's if it's in the stars 
and Cupid is out there with his little arrow. He's going to go to work. So, hey, um, moving on, moving on. Y'all don't get mad at me. Don't, 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 don't get mad at me. Are the women being taken advantage of? I don't think these chicks are being taken advantage of. These girls are not dumb. They're smart. They're hip. And they got mama, big mama, auntie, cousin, edu educating them, teaching them the way so they won't get played or used or taken advantage of like their foremothers or great-grandmothers did in the past. So, no. Um, the guy was saying that he felt that the men are being treated differently or maybe the black men. Well, I'm just going to kind of keep it real from the little bit that I be looking, I be reading. I see the older men, normally the white guys, and some of them are like really old. They're like 79, 76. What a 21 year old, 29 year old. Uh, they, I just saw one girl, I think she was 19, with a 59 year old. I was reading on, maybe what's on his page, a man posted that he was making, he gets $9,000 in retirement. And that he does live like a king. I don't know if he's somebody he lives like a king in the Philippines or what. But hey, you can still live like a king, nine thousand dollars in the United States. I mean, you know. But again, as I share with you, that average income is one hundred ninety dollars, maybe six hundred. Columbia two hundred forty. Somebody's getting a retirement of nine thousand, or even if they. Uh, three thousand, yeah. You you could probably live good. I'm just wondering. Hey, I would think this woman would say, "Hey, I want to go to the United States. I want to go to Australia. I want you to take me back home. I I don't want to be here. I'm I want to to go back to school. I mean, are they allowed? Or are they able to go back to school? I do see that the non-black men are wifing up these women putting them in a house, letting their mama, papa, whole family move in. We already saw what happened with Jeezy and, and, and that Jenny Ma. According to people, he was upset that she had her folks moving in. and He didn't want her mama and her brother in his mansion. Okay, so if it's something like that, you know, some of us not used to having in-laws and family members and extended people living in the home with us. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I hate to just be strictly honest. I really don't care since, you know, they are saying that these American women are just a no-no for them. So you go where it's going to be better. One thing I will share with you women, whether you are black, white, blue, green, or red, brown, tan, yellow, olive, if your man or your friend is traveling to these countries, you better make sure when he bring his butt back home that you take him and get his behind tested, get his Hebrew national, his chorizo, his boudin, his hillshire sausage, get all that stuff tested that he's not coming home bringing you something, giving you something. You got these type of knuckleheads and they're doing like what with my my niece said her boss at the club they're going on these ex-tourism to these places come back and want to hook up with women here if they've been out on a little excursion with their fit feminine and friendly uh obedient docile humble women who submissive women who don't you know have a big mouth and talk back and and ask for a lot of stuff okay just had just had to throw that one in. Okay, let's talk about <laughs> Miss Helga. I hadn't seen any more videos of her. And while for a while during some of this chick was hot. Everybody was talking about Helga Babushka. I don't know, I don't know if that's the lady's real name. Nice looking woman, Filipino woman. She was talking a whole lot of smack. Whole lot of trash. Defending the the uh she was a cheerleader. She was a cheerleader. Passport bros, the black passport bros. I don't know if she was just their chiller, just these dudes chilling, period. So this one, I think one of the last videos I remember seeing, I don't know who posted it, but she was uh, just doing a constant clap back and um, how uh, they love playing with toys. They love leftovers. Um, 
And then at the end of the video, she touched her hand. And at least, this is too, she said it was to, oh, then she called the women hyenas. There was a hyena movement. Uh, the only person I know, and she's probably where she stole that from, was the lady from the Manosphere, Crimson Keir. Uh, uh, I'm not sure she's with the Nation of Islam, but she's a Muslim lady. She was the only one I, I know on YouTube that was using the word hyenas and then everybody else started. And so I guess it's where Miss um, Helga uh, copied it from. So in this last video, I, I remember seeing she had started shaking her hair and, oh, and this is my hair. My hair is real and I wear real hair and I, I don't wear fake hair. And this is for that woman. Uh, I don't know if the uh, passport bros are saying that, you know, all black women are wearing fake hair and wigs and extensions. It's the style. It, everybody is wearing it. I, I was in the store the other day, saw a Hispanic lady with long blonde hair. She had her sides pull up and I could see the little clips, the little claps. Went to another store, same thing. Saw another woman, non-black. I could tell because I could see the clips. My sisters, both of them work in the medical field. She'd be telling me when she's working on patients, she can see their hair or their hairline and whatnot. It's not just black women wearing uh, weaves, wigs, or extensions. A lot of people are wearing their real hair. Uh, again, remember, <laughs> I, I'm just going to keep it real. <laughs> A hundred and ninety dollars a month. Yeah, I, I'm. A, I'm kind of. I'm pretty sure it'd be kind of hard for you to get a wig, to get extensions, to get your nails done, to get your Lancome, to to get your Givenchy, to get your um, YSL, to to get the lipstick, to get the nail gloss, to get the nails done, to to even probably go and get a a, a blowout and a shampoo. Uh, I'm pretty sure it it is difficult because those things cost money and, and it's not cheap you you know we we got the great dollar party and she'll tell you in a minute that's why she is the hardest working woman i will not even say the hardest working woman i say the hardest working entertainer because it costs money you know it's not cheap you guys so i'm looking on somebody's page i don't know who it was i think it was the lady named tanya tk oh she was showing some dude was a black guy mad at Helga. He was saying, and you are a fraud and you are fake and you lied to us and you're nothing but a Western woman. You're from Canada. You're not even from the Philippines. And you had us thinking this and you had, I'm thinking, wait, what? The woman's from Canada. She's not even from the Philippines. She's been living in Canada since she was, what, 15 or 11 years old. So I'm clicking, I'm looking. And find a uh, picture of her. I don't know if this man is her husband. He's fine. He's an Indian guy. Nice looking. Muscles. Bald. Tall. And I'm thinking, that's why. That's why the Kangs. That's why the Kangs are mad. Helga did a bait and switch on their asses. She's doing all this cheerleading. Trying to get them likes and them clicks. And get that TikTok money. Her man, her her king or her king is not black. He's an Indian. <laughs> he's an Indian man. I don't know if he's a Uber driver or whatnot, but I mean, they make they look good together. A nice looking, attractive couple. Uh, but yeah, so that's what they mad about. They not mad really that she in Canada. It's that she, her man, her real man, her her king. He's Indian. That's what they. <laughs> You guys, it's so many fraudsters and fakes on YouTube, on them YouTube streets. It's just crazy. You know, uh, this, like I, I shared earlier, so many YouTube went to, like seven or eight who were bragging about they had a great marriage, divorce, not to mention the ones, I don't like to really use that word, but I'll use it. The, some of these women who were the divestors, the women uh, who are, and when I heard that word divestment, I thought it was talking about investment, like investing in real estate, investing in stocks and bonds, investing in cryptocurrency. You know, they talk about black women dating out, dating other races of men. Uh, so a lot of them chicks, several of them got divorced. Husband left them. Uh, a lot of the dudes uh, that were talking about uh, certain black women channels, they didn't lost their YouTube channel. A lot of people that 
was flaunting their money, their wealth, showing them shopping, buying these uh, luxury items. They got in trouble because they were doing that PP loan, PPE, fraudulent stuff during the COVID. All that stuff didn't caught up with a lot. So it's just a lot of, you know, craziness. <laughs> craziness uh, going on. I want to talk right quick about another. I didn't know this guy was a YouTuber. I think they're called Feel and Beans. When we talk about they, the women, they, they're really feminine, fit, and friendly. And I'm going to mention a uh, daily uh, Brazilian native. Uh, this guy, black guy, nice look. I don't know if he's a music producer. Well, I think they're here in Texas. So he's married to an Asian woman. She caught him allegedly. Uh, maybe she got hold of his phone and saw he was talking to a woman or whatever. I don't know if he's married to this lady, but she's uh, Asian. Looks like she might be Filipino. Very petite lady. Uh, they got about three or four kids. So in the video, they showing her running around with a rake chasing after him, trying to hit him, you know, and then they get in the house, they're still fighting, arguing, and I'm thinking, they say they, they feminine, fit, and friendly, they're not going to be mouthy, they're not going to fight, they humble, they peaceful, you know, I'm like, mm, I wonder if she, so I went back, and I'm looking at that video, now he's talking about, they done made up, and, and couples have disagreement, this happened all the time, and you know, things are stronger than it ever was before. Right? Mm, yeah, right. Boys, we are losing. I firm the guy, I'm calling the cops. <laughs> when they think the grass is green on the other side, but then when they get over there and they find out that it's artificial, it's not even real grass. Mm hmm. Yep. <laughs> The world's gonna come back every time and bite y'all in y'all asses. Every time. And I see, I'm not mad because y'all want to go and, and try something new. I'm cool with it. I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I swear for a cheese cracker, I don't care one damn bit. The only time I don't like it is when y'all bash us to go do it. Like, y'all gotta put us down to go do what y'all gonna do. Y'all ain't gotta put us down because we don't care. The majority of us don't even give a damn. We can care less. We can, we can care less what y'all do. We don't care. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Brazilian native. I found this guy's channel. He's he's really good. He's married. He is a Brazilian in Brazil. He's a dentist or some type of doctor. So his video, he was talking about are Brazilian women are they really submissive? And he basically said no, they are not submissive. They are family oriented. He did say that Brazilian women are beautiful women. He think, of course, he don't say he, he's, he's a Brazilian man in Brazil, married to a Brazilian woman. But he did say or ask, why are so many Brazilian women single with children? Okay, that's something to think about. Are they single with children because of the American men, the passport bros going down there? Um, uh, leaving their seedlings behind, getting jiggy with it on that ex tourism, and leave these women with babies. Okay, that that's what I was wondering. Or or is it from the men in their country? And then that's why a lot of them are on these sites or doing. I share with y'all the scope of me. There there's so many cases. Some that haven't even been talked about of tourists american men and other western men found dead or missed no deleted or, or missing because the woman and put something in his drink and got rid of him so she was to get it maybe she wasn't trying to get rid of him maybe she was just trying to knock him out for a couple minutes so she can get the wallet i don't know but check out brazilian uh native because he made some good points and another guy made some good points I was watching. And he said basically what I said at the beginning of the video. Who leaves Macy's dealer Saks Fifth Avenue to go shop at Amvet Salvation Army? Who leaves the meat market, leaves Kroger's, Walmart, Public, Safeway, Milords, Milords to go shop and get your meats or whatnot from the, some dude selling mystery meat or selling stuff out on the street who does that 
So what he's saying, and I'm, I hope I can find it, is that these women already know, as Shoemaker Way said, you guys are the sweet lick. You are these women payday. Because remember, $240 the average income in Colombia, $190 the average income in the Philippines, okay? They already know that the men in their country is not going to do all this stuff. Can't do it because the unemployment is so freaking high. So when they see these guys coming, they already know it's payday. It's Friday. You know that song, it's raining men. It's raining money. It's raining dollar bills. It's raining whatever. But um, we're going to get paid and we're going to all eat good this month and next month. <laughs> when these American clowns, these American simps, these American fools, when they come by, not to mention they're probably going to give them a little package, a little something to take home to their wives or girlfriends. So that's why you gals make sure when old boy come, make sure you take him and y'all go to the doctor together. Don't let him go by himself. We go together. Y'all go together to make sure he's not carrying a package. He's not carrying a bug. He's not carrying a disease. He's not carrying STDs. Did y'all see uh, somewhere in Michigan, five women? Got syphilis in the eye. They call it STD in the eye. I couldn't check it out to see what color they were or, or what part of Michigan, but they said they caught got it in the eye. And the first thing I thought, mm, I bet they had got a golden shower. They all was messing with the same dude, so he must have gave them a golden shower, and it got in their eye. And they got syphilis in the eye, y'all. I ain't lying.